未提出门，台湾人一样叫天龙的呗，最后我们我告诉你，后来是搞的 p i c a l y p s e So this is Epica with Flesh God Apocalypse, The Great Tribulation from their new EP thing, The Alchemy Project. It's great for me to record this now because I'm actually seeing Flesh Flesh God Apocalypse tonight. <laughs> yes, I said Flesh God Apocalypse. Right. So Epica is a band that has a pretty big name, and they know that just because their name is on something, people will listen to it. Despite that, they don't sell out and they keep making good things. And apparently, on top of that, they also hijack other people's popularity. It's a pretty good business model. Be great, do great, and hijack those who are great. Yes. So we obviously approve of everything they're doing here, including the music. We have already heard their first single, and they already have three of them out by now. And I think actually yesterday was the release of the EP. This video is probably gonna cut out a few months from when we're recording, but. <laughs> We're sorry.、Um, so the great tribulation, and we don't mean the bad tribulation.、Um, are you ready? No. Picking up a Flesh God Apocalypse influence in the writing a bit as well. It feels a bit like if the song "No" I mean no was written by Epica. There was actually one riff in there that was very similar. No, from Flesh God. Yes, yes. Flesh God have a song called "No." No. No. Yes. No. You know they're talking about how I'm not ready. I mean no. I mean. Sorry, I had to. All right, so I get that vibe, and I think I heard a bit of Veronica Bordacchini. That's her name, right? Yes, the soprano from Flesh God Apocalypse in the intro. Uh huh. But since then, most of what I've been hearing still sounds like epic. Yeah, me. Yeah, so I'm not placing Flesh God like I don't really see where they are. Maybe they didn't really come in yet. But I'm definitely feeling like the song is adapted to them、yes. to some degree, and. 
what I really like so far is that Epic are really good at making these like big open harmonies, which is what they did with the chorus, mm -hmm. but it's so much more impactful when it contrasts with such a fast paced drilling black beat. And like that beats. Yes, he likes black beats. Yo. Yes. Yes, Epic I haven't gone this dark and creepy in a really long time. I'm going to guess that the solo section was Duo Francesco Trouble. You think? Yes. Because you know there's two Francescos in Plus God, one yes. that does the stringy thing and one that does the key thing. Key? Yeah, as in with keys. Yeah. It's it's really hard to pinpoint exactly how they did the mix because it sounds like both bands are there. Yeah. But they're not making it obvious who's where. Exactly. Like, so, I almost didn't pay that much attention to what's happening in the song because I was always obsessing on who's playing. Yeah, but I think, I think that's actually a sign of maturity because when bands do guest performances, it's like, song, here's the guest song. Yeah. You know? It's like, it, it almost like stops, then you have a guest spot and then it goes on again. But these are like co-written. Yeah. So that's why you get this sense of like, you know, double DNA. You know, DNA is like a spiral with two bars. It's like one bar is Epica and the other is Flesh God. And they're all done like that. So you can feel that in the DNA of the song of how it's really is. Uh, I, well, I think that's actually the main gist with it. And I'm still trying to pinpoint who is who. So I don't know if it's co-written and maybe also co-recorded because like the style of blasting the way it kicks in and out is very much Flesh God. Yeah. I wouldn't know if that means it was recorded by someone in Flesh God or just because of, because they wrote the song together that the patterns ended up like that and it would still be recorded by Aryan, I which mean, we know he can blast pretty well as well. Yes. Especially if you've listened to Mayan. Um, so I, I keep obsessing over that, but that aside, the drum patterns are phenomenal. Yes. It's, it's like Carnivorous Lamb by Flesh God Apocalypse and Ascension by Epica. Like, it's like an, it's like a mix. It's like an ascending Carnivorous Lamb. Why? 
I don't know. It's it's always hard for me when you're so coherent in the way you review music. I've got nothing left to say. All I can do is mock your input. You said I input your input. I did, but I also mocked him. You said a nice thing about me. Oh, uh, why? <laughs> Bang! Now we get to be on each other's side. Now we're bros. Give me the bromance. Show me the love. No! 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 Are we ready? Yes. So if you enjoyed this reaction, we greatly appreciate the likes and shares, and if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe with bells. Thank you very much for stopping by. We hope you enjoyed your stay, and we'd love to see you back at the windmill very soon. Cross it out.